Uh, we'll move on now to Nick uh, Probert, uh, who will be talking about low, or comes from low impact technologies, and we'll be talking about solar thermal water distillation and dewatering technology. So, Nick, I believe you're coming from the UK, also across some time zones. Uh, that yeah. limousine we've got is pretty fancy, can take you through the sky and over the water. Uh, take it away, please, Nick. All right, yeah, thank you very much, everyone, for having us in the forum today. Um, if we could go to the next slide, please. Uh, low impact technologies is the exclusive global licensee outside the US for D&D manufacturing's concentrated solar multi-effect distillation and dewatering systems. These systems are built using very large thermoplastic composite parabolic troughs and also horizontal multi-effect distillation and dewatering devices that are built in situ within these troughs. This has allowed us to collapse the cost when compared to traditional CSP distillation methods and enabled us to increase our footprint where we can treat inputs such as seawater, uh, inland saline water, hypersaline brine, brine discharge from reverse osmosis operations, mine process water, um, and agricultural, industrial, and residential effluents. Uh, next slide, thank you. Uh, the first scaled units were built in 2015 and testing was completed with the Arizona State University and the TTU Water Centre out of Tennessee. These units produced 312 litres of distillate per hour and we also tested uh, fracking water with a TDS of, uh, of 217,000 parts per million and through a single pass uh, the distillate came out at 12 parts per million. In 2019, uh, D&D licensed and is to be the major shareholder in low impact technologies, which is to commercialise this tech going forward. Uh, next slide. The first of the four full scaled units has been built in Florida and our testing has confirmed our assumptions and calculations whereby we're producing around 3000 litres of distillate per hour or 30,000 litres in a 10 hour sunlight day. Um, this has occurred, uh, this testing was completed in the wet season of, of the Florida summer, um, so a lower than expected irradiance, so we're very happy with the way that went. Our next stage is incorporating our dewatering technology into the focal point of the mirrors where we can achieve uh, ZLD or zero liquid discharge, so distillate at one end and solids at the other, whether that's salt or mine tailings or whatever. Next slide. Um, we're looking to build the first uh, manufacturing plant of its kind in Australia, and our market research has identified five verticals where these where these units can be applied. Uh, as I said, in the mining industry for the tailings and mine affected water, in industry for the processing and recycling of water, in agriculture for agricultural runoffs or circular irrigation schemes, for green hydrogen, which is really exciting considering the billions of dollars being committed by governments to change energy landscape, we can supply the distillate required on site for the electrolysis process. And also, of course, utilities and remote locations for supplying potable water and the management of effluents. Uh, we're looking to start off gradually in the first year and ten, supplying 10 units in 2021 um, so that we can ensure that we help with the commissioning and running of these units whilst at the same time building up our expertise of our manufacturing and sales and support team. We're looking to supply 1,000 units worldwide by uh, the fifth year. Uh, next slide. In regards to impact, these units are um, modular. So the more units we put together, the more um, distillate or volume of fresh water we can produce. And we can also tailor it to the customer's needs. So whether that is a fresh water and brine outcome or a fresh water and solids outcome, um, that's the way it works. So for example, in the Tulare Basin in California in the US, um, D&D is looking to work with a, um, a company uh, that will supply uh, to them two and a half thousand units and provide in excess of 28 gigalitres per year of distillate for that to be put back into the um, Californian market. Because of our low impact manufacturing processes and also the fact that we're using solar energy as our um, primary source for distillation, we can fit within 12 of the 17 United Nations SGGs. Uh, next slide, thank you. Um, we originally started the company as a looking for uh, 
sustain, low impact, sustainable um, technologies to put out into the marketplace. And in the last 12 months, we've um, been able to have a number of expert experts join us in the in the business. And as advisors, uh, we have a rocket scientist on board, uh, fluid geofluid mechanics. Um, we also have um, great expertise in regards to commercials, compliance, as well as design and fabrication. We've built everything uh, that you saw in those photos from the ground up. Next slide. In regards to partnerships, where our first partners, JWA in Australia, have identified four companies that we are looking to put units in place in the next 12 months to conduct tests and case studies. Um, and we've also been lucky enough to be part of a 250,000 successful grant from the METS Ignited um, in, in Queensland. The next slide. In regards to needs, we're looking for one uh, million US dollars to close out our capital raise. We've currently had three and a half million US confirmed both in cash and machinery required. And we're very much looking forward to um, adding to our uh, investor base and look who are looking forward to joining us on this journey as we move ahead. Next slide. Um, thanks very much for uh, the opportunity today. And I'd be happy to speak with anyone um, uh, in the foyer or in the marketplace. That's great. Thank you, Nick. And uh, it's pretty late in the evening, I think, where you are in the UK. So thank you for staying up late. Uh, make sure that uh, you connect with Nick or any of the other pictures in either the, the marketplace or the foyer.